Fun fact about Latimer Road, it's actually nowhere near Latimer Road. It's 500 metres from the actual road, which is half a kilometre, or in imperial measurements, 12 nautical miles. This here is the reason. This is the West Way, which in the 1960s chopped Latimer Road in half. It was decided to rename the southern half, the closest to the station, Freston Road. So now you have a station whose name has little relevance to its actual location. It's been known by a less flattering title in the past. In 1864, the Hammersmith and City Railway was opened, with the aim of serving the up-and-coming town of Hammersmith and Kensington, the latter via a link to Addison Road, which you will know as Kensington Olympia. It was a respectable railway for respectable people. However, on the way it ran through one of the poorest areas of London. Charles Dickens described the area as a plague spot, scarcely equalled for its insalubrity by any part of London. The two main industries around here were pig-keeping and brick-making. This bottle kiln is a surviving remnant of the brick-making industry, which took advantage of the clay found in these parts. As you might imagine, the clay resulted in a muddy area of slums and small holdings, literally awash with sewage in some parts. One resident observed of the roads that when you had put one foot down, you didn't know how to pull the other one up. John White attempted to improve the quality of the area with the 1837 construction of a race course called the Hippodrome, which cut right through the slums. Unfortunately for his lofty ambitions, there was a public right-of-way across the track, which enabled the locals to get in and made the race patrons rather more aware of the poverty of the area than they were comfortable with. Not that this put the railway's backers off. The hope was that building the railway would cause land values to rise. Even so, when Latimer Road Station was opened in 1868, it was popularly known as Piggery Junction. Unfortunately for the Hammersmith and City's board members, some of whom had hoped to profit off buying land cheap and selling it off to developers, the railway did not bring gentrification. Poverty continued to plague the area long into the 20th century. Notting Hill and North Kensington, the areas served by the station, have famously gone up market in recent decades. Areas that were slums as recently as the 1970s are now streets where houses sell routinely for seven figures. Gentrification hasn't come easily. For instance, an attempt by the Greater London Council to redevelop the area around Freston Road, Bramley Road and Shalfleet Drive in 1977 resulted in squatters seceding from the UK and declaring the free and independent Republic of Frestonia. The group took their inspiration from the excellent film Passport to Pimlico and made their decision after a referendum came out 94% in favour of leaving Britain. Fortunately, no one came up with an asinine name for the movement like Frexit. The Republic lasted for about five years before being replaced by the Bramley's Housing Cooperative. During those five years, the Republic issued stamps, ran a national newspaper and even applied to join the UN. While the area is generally considered by outsiders to be fairly posh, this is by no means universal. In the area around Latimer Road, a large number of people still live in subsidised housing. The situation for the less well-off residents was brought into sharp relief in 2017 by the Grenfell Tower fire, which resulted in 72 deaths. Following the tragedy, Kensington and Chelsea Borough Council were massively criticised for neglect and underinvestment. Nobody seems able to fully agree who's responsible for the situation, but it does highlight the issues that affect the area to this day. A Ministry of Housing report requested that Latimer Road Station, which backs onto the tower, be renamed to commemorate the victims, which brings us right back to our starting point. Why not? At least after half a century, the station name would once again mean something. Hi all. Hope you enjoyed that episode of Tales from the Tube. If you did, it would help me greatly if you'd like, subscribe, share and comment as you see fit. And I'll see you again next time. Cheerio.